All right, you son. The King Boobies. We're back in with another video. And today we're going to play some Speed of Fire. Or well, we replay some Speed of Fire games from the weekend. You know, it's weekend Saturday, so I mean, they're in two times speed. And, uh, yes, we can breathe. Right, cool. Uh, yeah, so the main strat I was uh, using this time is uh, actually quite different from what I used last time. Because I've always in the past... Uh, like doing uh, rubber to gold always got to be lightning, but then the yeah, lightning with uh, econ nerf. But I uh, was doing some testing with uh, the real uh, lemon BTD, and we discovered that uh, super balloon boost and this kind of style is just uh, probably uh, we felt it looks quite a bit better. Uh, definitely felt strong against aggro, uh, good passing, just gonna lose to anyways, but then you give it another option of. Aggression, you basically just the trade off. The main trade off is you have uh, less eco uh, when you're playing, and uh, yeah, this game does a lot of screen lag because he kind of wasn't really dying and then just out of nowhere dropped dead. So, <laughs> but uh, that was from what we've done. And basically, the way you can play is you can use your super balloon boost to bait some of the lightnings out of your opponent's also playing aggro, and then you've got a, a free like hard rush in if they're drained as well because you're not. Sending from the start, we played blind. This is the first time we did blindness on this map, and it was, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then you can just finish him off. Uh, you know, I'm not by any means a good, uh, a good. Well, I say I'm an okay spider player. I'm not, uh, I'm not great though. I'm not. Uh, I don't know about ins and outs. I don't know how to best deal with every situation. I just feel that uh, I've just done a little bit of practicing, and uh, this is how I feel is uh, a good strat. And uh, yeah, here's some of the videos we playing it. Oh yeah, big thing, if you want to go for the Bionic or Ricochet, Bionic is good uh, because when the adjustment comes in, the single adjustment balloon comes in, you're not going to get jammed up, Ricochets will get jammed up, if you didn't know. Uh, so if there's only one send path, if the AI balloons and the send balloons come from the same path, you probably want to get Bionics, but if they come out from different paths, you can get a ninja up and then go ricochets and that's slightly better. That's for now on the blindness, just because we had the uh, adjustment balloon in and then you only had the ricochet and you were just blinded to all the other balloons. Uh, and now we've got logic, we've got loads of the uh, chest 11 grinders. They successfully got their chest last week, congratulations to them. And yeah. Now we just, uh, yeah, we're doing the super balloon boost again this time. So yeah, at this point we're not sure, if they start Boomer, if they start Ice you can start Ricochet as well, but we're not sure at this point what he's playing, he was in the chest 11 grinding clan, so we assumed aggro. He goes for this, so we get a super balloon boost in these pinks, slightly late, but it's okay. Get rubber to gold, we can eco nerf straight away, he's gonna lightning, we rubber to gold. Yeah, it's always good if they use, you can force the lightning before you use your rubber to gold and then you can get a few more seconds before they can eco nerf. So always quite strong. He then goes for double of these, which is quite risky. The round ended, which helped him quite a bit, but otherwise he could have struggled there quite a bit. If he had a second adjustment down there, he would have been uh, in quite a bit of trouble, but uh, he does get his glaive lot up eventually. So now I'm thinking, can we hit him with uh, a sneaky rush round? 11 or 14 so the round 14 we like to super bloom boost in their ceramics and around 11 we just like super bloom boosting in some regen rainbows uh, i don't think we decided to do the regen rainbows oh we did here we go super bloom boosted it in he had one more lightning i don't think i remember i forgot he had that lightning because uh, without that lightning he was definitely dead <laughs> and if we throw some camos in there as well for the second uh, ricochet uh, so that was a little bit unfortunate there, but um, we made the mistake. Now we're doing the second rush, super loop thing the ceramics, but at this point he has uh, way too much uh, money. And the game's pretty much over right here. I mean, we have a lot of eco, but we just had to do so much just to defend. He has loads, loads, and loads of eco. And he's kind of looking like he's playing passive at this point now, because we don't know. Uh, we're not seeing anything aggressive, we're not seeing a Cobra yet. And so we're getting ready to turn in BFBs, try and ping some BFBs across, see if we can get him to choke. Yeah, he's gonna sabo. Oh, he does have. Oh no, that was my. Uh, my. He has a. Uh, yeah, he's a super monkey. This is actually a really good strategy. I'll try this later on. Yeah, it's quite fun. 
Well, not fun. It's like it's slow. It's uh, it's passive, but you just guess. It's literally the same. Just, you can super monkey spam and then slow stuff down and do a load of tricks. I tried sending in a uh, camo ceramic so you like getting to choke for that underneath. Because his big balloon slow wouldn't have helped him, and the super monkeys don't target ceramics. But we ended up dying from the end. But we didn't really want to defend that because we were just stealing ourselves at that point. Going in later, so tactical loss. We can now find triple exclamation point. With a pretty decent looking account. And get short map. Short map, I quite like Team Tower Stun. With, uh, you've got a good lightning just because of how short it is. If you mess up something slightly, you're going to be enough lightning. Uh, I know Power Lock's quite liked as well. I just have uh, personally. Um, just personally like lightning a little bit more. He's going to Power Lock us this time, actually. And he could have almost. He did, if he'd sent pinks and power lock just maybe slightly later he could have actually won the game right there which is why i think people like uh, power lock quite a bit but um now we're going for our ninja up there in case he adjusts us don't want our ricochet to get jammed up he's going for two ricochets uh, so we are going to adjust him in a second he's going to power lock us again yeah i guess power locks are good because it means you can get your rubber to gold in if they have eco nerf we got our two ricochets down, we're now adjusting him, uh, but we're not seeing anything. I think this is screen lag, because he just randomly dies, which must have meant that the ninja didn't pop one of the uh, camos, and then it just jammed up all of the ricochets, but the ricochets, but on the on my screen it looked like it did pop the camo balloon, and so then the ricochets would have destroyed all of the balloons. It's really terrible how bad this screen lag is, it needs to get fixed, because otherwise you can see the camo's coming and you get like a few on, uh, just a few, you could then team tower set and you could all to jam together, but they actually that'd probably take a bit too long and you need to have a clay floor down instead. Anyways, yeah, I need to fix that. Anyway, we found the short map again, so we're going back to team tower stone. I believe this is the last replay. So, uh, no more tactical analysis. Uh, I think we've actually did the same thing here. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll just start the outro and in like 28 seconds. Oh, eight, oh I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Yeah, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. And yeah, we'll just keep dripping out a few more videos. Not nothing crazy, nothing too much. And he's dead. See ya.